Number 10 then from the 2017 Advanced Tire Paper. End of page 2 now and still not quite at the halfway mark marks wise. I think that's about 47 marks so far. Anyway, number 10, we've got this summation formula here. And there's only four marks for this. The first part says, find an expression for this, fully factorising your answer. The thing to do here is remember it's a summation. And it used to be you had to learn these summations, but now you can just look up the front. If you split SN up, it would split up into these two parts. You've got the sum from 1 to N of R squared, and you've got the sum from 1 to N of R, but only a third of that. And then you just look those up at the front, don't you? That's the one that you don't remember, but you don't need to know, of course, but that's the one that used to be the tricky one to remember, because that was an easy enough one. That's the one that's a sixth of N times N plus 1, times 2n plus 1. This is going to be a third of, and that's the one you do remember, that's the half n. A half n, n plus 1. Now, sensible thing to do is factorise it. Maybe that's why it said factorise form rather than simplify your answer, because you don't want to be multiplying that out when they've got so much in common. That's a multiply there. They've both got a sixth, they've both got n, they've both got n plus 1. So you can take out a sixth of n times n plus 1 and just see what they're left with. Well, this one's left with its 2n plus 1. Maybe I'll just keep that to itself just now. And in this one, it was the whole thing, so there's just one part. So I've got a sixth of n times n plus 1. Now, that's 2n plus 2. Oh, I've done it. I've said it now. That's 2n plus 2, but obviously there's a common factor of 2 that can come out. So you can take that common factor of 2 out and raise that up to a third. But then what you're left with is, and I know I could have done this in one line as well, you end, you end up with an n plus 1, which matches that. So finally, it's a third of n times n plus 1 squared. Part B for two marks. Find an expression for this, the sum from 10 to 2p of the one you've just found. Two marks. I hope it's worth it. Well, the first thing is, you're not start, this formula can only apply if you start at 1. It starts at 10. So you'll have to split this into two parts. You can only use that formula up to 2p if you start at 1. Oh, I'll put this wee bit in. So you'll have to take away the bits you don't want. If you want to start at 10, then you'll have to take away the ones, why did I put that down, that start from 1 and go to just 9. And I'll put that in, r squared plus 1 third of r. Right, there's only two marks for this. Now I've got to feed both of them into this. So that first one's going to be a third of all the n's replaced by 2p. So a third of, I'll just put them in little brackets, 2p times, and that's 2p plus 1 squared, minus, and then it'll be a third of, this time it's a 9 that's going in. So it's a third of 9 times, I'll just do it anyway, 9 plus 1 squared. One mark for this bit. So this first part, I'll just go, I've got two thirds there anyway. I've got two thirds of p times, now square the bracket, so it'll be 4p squared, plus twice the product, 4p plus 1, minus, now that part's 10, so that's 100. That goes in 3, so that's 300. Now it's just a case of what can I do with that? Just multiply it out and write down the three bits. Sorry, the four bits. One mark. So that means I've got 8 upon 3p cubed, and I've got 8 upon 3p squared, but only two thirds of p and minus a 300. Well, there you are. So you would think, well, two marks, find an expression for this. You were expecting something, weren't you? Something, something nice. Well, that turned out nice. Look at this. But that's what it is.